what is up so real gang how we doing today let's get into the video regina carter tweeted single y'all let's get this real straight been single love a shopping spree though yeah. i got me a boo and here's my advice to everybody date until you find a one yeah we young we got all the time you got no kids yeah yeah do that y'all comment down below and let me know what y'all got from that because what i got from it is she's basically saying that she is single and her and g5 are not dating even though a while back regine stated that that was her man even g5 said that he played and she left and then she stated been single so is she saying that she been single since her last relationship and her and g5 are just casually dating mm, i don't know y'all because she even stated she loves a shopping spree though if you guys remember the other day g5 and regine carter were spotted out on the strip so I'm, I'm guessing she's stating that he took her on a shopping spree and that's why they were together which she loves i mean any woman would love a shopping spree right but i don't know if i'm going on a shopping spree with a man that was just on vacation with his ex and was just in the comments stating that that's his real girlfriend and then came back and gave me an apology online and now i'm coming to twitter stating that i'm single and i've been single mm. Now that I think about it, after all of that, I don't blame her for going on a shopping spree and spending his money. Like, you played, right? And now you pay, right? Shit. I don't know, guys. Comment down below and let me know what you think. Because I'm a girl myself. My feelings would have been hurt from that. So, I'm not sure. Because for a few months now, we've been reporting about Regina Carter and G5 messing around exclusively. And now she's coming on Twitter and she's stating that she's single and that she's been single. Well, I guess that clears up the rumors of her jumping into another relationship right out of the one that she just got out of i guess you know people can kill that story since she's stating she's been single and she's still single so i'm guessing her and g5 are casually dating and haven't made anything official yet so you guys leave your comments down below and let us know what you think let's get into ty taylor for a while now it's been reported that ty may be pregnant but for some reason she kept denying those allegations and after those allegations keep getting denied for some reason every time her sister posts a video on youtube her belly is being exposed the other day ty had took the snapchat and stated that she had five fibroids which can appear as a pregnancy well guys today the tea room posted another picture of ty from her sister's youtube video which has since then been deleted but they were able to catch a picture of Ty pregnant belly. Someone even sent her a snippet of that video and you can see Ty belly clear as day. Now guys, if you remember my last video that I did about Ty, I stated when I was pregnant, that's the only time I heard I had fibroids. Even her actions lately, she hasn't been showing herself. She hasn't been showing her belly. For those of you that has been keeping up with Ty, you guys know she loves to post a video. You know, she loves to get dressed and she just love social media so the for the fact the past couple months she's just been showing nothing but face it got me questioning even though ty is coming out and she's saying out of her own mouth that she may not be pregnant maybe she's saying that because she doesn't know how to tell her supporters yet so you comment down below and let me know what you think do you think ty is officially pregnant and just don't want to tell the world yet or do you think those fibroids have her belly looking like she's pregnant it would just be weird if she comes out and say she's pregnant after saying it's just fibroids and experiencing two different cultures is definitely true when i was in rhode island yeah i never like race and stuff never played a part in anything nobody cared about if you was any type of race any color out here down south is the only time that i ever saw people start using Oh, you're Spanish. Why do you want to be with somebody who's black? You should not be with a black man. You should be with a Spanish man. Um, why do you want to have black baby? Like, that's the only time I ever started seeing that shit. I'm like, what the hell? But y'all can say what y'all want. No, I'm being really real. Prejudice at all. It's an experience that I've been experiencing since I've lived here in Houston, actually. That's a fact. I love everybody. I've never saw race as a problem. But a lot of people out here, they don't like certain people just because of the color of their skin. That's a fact. <laughs> so 
Somebody said, girl, get off here. Baby, you're on my live. You get off my live. You're on my live. How are you gonna how are you gonna click on somebody's live and tell them get off live? Please, you get off my live. Did you baby? What you want, mama? Where's your bubble? That's weird. Not them telling you what to do, right? <laughs> you clicked on my life, <laughs> and nobody's explaining shit. I'm not even talking about nothing. I'm talking about my own life experiences as an adult, as a grown ass woman. You are not going to get on my life and tell me, a grown woman, to get off live. Or not my mom. Tell her, mama. Yeah, tell her, baby. Say, what y'all talk about? <laughs> she looks so uninterested. I'm dead. <laughs> I feel like Lenny gonna be so chill. I do. Jasmine, are you not working in my favor? My sister is my mod. Does she sleep through the night? Yes, both my kids do. She sleeps in her bassinet from 8.30 all the way until 8 in the morning. And same thing with Ocean. Ocean goes to bed at 8.30 in her own room, in her own bed, and wakes up around 8 o'clock a.m. Jesus said I am. <laughs> um, Ocean's taking a nap right now, y'all. Oh, Gabby's not a mod. Gabby's a mod on my other account. Girl, what's the trick? I don't know, y'all. Like, I feel like, I don't know. I feel like Lenny, I don't know. I think I just got lucky. Ocean was the same way when she was a baby. She slept through the whole night. Like, she did not give me no problems. And I didn't introduce her. He said, I see you doing your thing, Jasmine. Yeah, we just had Kaiser for two weeks, y'all. He's with his mama. Do you speak Spanish? No, but I understand a lot of Spanish. Okay, I do. I feel like a fake when I say this. I do kind of speak Spanish, but I don't like like to. But I understand Spanish, and if I'm talked to in Spanish, I'll respond back in English. What is the most difficult thing about being a content creator? I feel like just being vulnerable. Like we put our, like, I don't know, it just opens. When you're a content creator and you're like on YouTube or social media and stuff, and it just opens a leeway of allowing people their opinion on your life. And like, you know. That's my folk playing with you. In part. Have you guys been wedding planning? No, not yet. Not yet. We have some other plans in between those plans. Before we get to that, we have some other steps that we got to take in life. That's about to happen this month, upcoming month, which I'm really excited for. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, it's going to be like something that we really, really need. But until those next steps happen, then the other steps will happen. I feel like I always do Q&A's on my YouTube. Actually, I haven't did one in a while, but I don't know. I just feel like it's overrated.